One of the questions we get really a lot is what is the best insulation material for A-frame houses? And in this video I'm going to answer this question. First of all, A-frame houses are insulated in the same way as any other normal house. A-frame house, it is a stick build or timber frame or however you call it. So the structure, the frame is in timber and between timbers you need to put some insulation material to keep the elements out and comfort in. So whatever works for the regular house works for A-frames and vice versa. And of course there are a lot of myths about this uh, insulation thing like the most common one is more insulation is always better well it's not exactly the truth because uh, we insulate houses to keep them energy efficient and energy efficiency means that you have to spend less money time and effort of keeping it warm or cool but again insulation is quite secondary thing the first one is actually the ventilation in order to keep the good environment in your house you need to change the air six seven times a day because uh, otherwise we just consume it we breathe it and uh, and so on uh, so we need to get the used air out and the new fresh air in and if your ventilation system is really really basic like no heat recovery at all or something then uh, well, it really doesn't matter how much insulation you put in because the heat goes out through ventilation. The ventilation is number one reason of heat losses. Number two is openings like doors, windows, skylights and so on. And on the third place is the actual barrier insulation uh, like a roof and exterior walls. Everybody wants energy efficiency, but uh, actually energy efficiency is kind of a byproduct of the house well built. And house well built means that it's uh, eco-friendly, it's healthy, it's durable. And if you get these uh, things right, it will be also energy efficient. You must choose the insulation material for your house shell and there are five factors to keep in mind health eco-friendliness price performance like thermal transmittance and the ease of installation the first one health <laughs> you want your insulation material to be healthy of course there are some natural materials like lambu and wood fiber and cellulose flakes and uh, sawdust and stuff like that but uh, usually they don't perform as well as the traditional materials also they are usually more expensive eco-friendliness usually they co uh, go together with uh, health because what is good for you, usually it is good for environment as well. Same concerns. Eco-friendly materials like lamb wool and sawdust and cellulose and all this stuff, it's usually more expensive. Which brings us to price. Some materials, especially these natural ones like lamb wool insulation, they can be very, very expensive. Also hard to install and together uh, these costs like cost of material in and installation may may really hurt hurt your budget if you don't calculate it correctly the performance some materials uh, perform better uh, these uh, uh, not natural materials like polyurethane foam and uh, eps or polystyrene they have very good performance uh, sometimes some of them may be more expensive some of them like polystyrene it's really hard to install actually in the stick building you need to cut it and then foam it between <coughs> the rafters so it can be pretty hard and the fifth one the last one ease of installation again spray foam is probably the easiest to install nothing to measure nothing to cut and these natural ones they can be a pain to install. They, uh, some of them, like wood fiber, they actually need a bandsaw to cut it. You can't cut it with a knife. Uh, rock wool, gla glass wool, all these are very easy to cut. You cut them with a little excess so you can compress it between the rafters and it stays there. It's very simple. 
considering these five factors I just introduced, you really need to choose one. And uh, it's uh, always kind of compromise between these five. And uh, some of these factors are very strictly tied to your location. For example, if you are on a small island, uh, the availability of these insulation materials can be really, really, really limited. And uh, to transport something on that island is very expensive. So, same, uh, for example, spray foam. I know, I've heard from customers that uh, in some areas of the world, it's super cheap. I know here it is very expensive. So it really depends on your local conditions. Performance, again, in mild climate, well, it doesn't have to perform so well, like um, some tropical islands where it's not very hot. Well, the insulation can be thinner. You don't need to worry about that so much. Again, here in the cold climate, it's very, very important that it performs well. Otherwise, you'll be cold and uncomfortable. So it comes down to your personal preferences as well. My, um, my favorite is rock wall because it's relatively cheap. It's easy to install. It performs well. It's also quite eco-friendly because it's 85% uh, of sand. Actually, they melt the sand and make, make it wool. We don't provide insulation materials with the kit uh, for a few reasons. First, it's really, really bulky, like uh, shipping it somewhere to Europe. Uh, um, the kit takes maybe one truck, uh, one trailer, and uh, the insulation would be two additionally. And that's uh, definitely not economically reasonable and it's not eco-friendly as well. So buy it uh, from your local shop. I believe this is a really necessary information for you to understand before you make your budget and start building the house. And uh, I'd really like to know if you think the same. If you do, please like this video, then I know how many people actually agree with my points. If you feel that you have learned at least one useful thing in this video, please go and see our other videos. Watch the next one. Thank you.